Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Crypto Takeover here, coming back with another Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you today. We're taking a look at two articles. We got limited supply will push Bitcoin will push price to incredible numbers, says Ark investor Kathy Wood, um, talking about Bitcoin here. Bitcoin sitting right at about fifty five thousand dollars, still having a little bit of um, trouble breaking up into the fifty six thousand dollar range. So seeing a little bit of resistance at fifty six thousand dollars. But we're going to see uh, what we might be able to tell based on our charts here in a second. And then also we have our article here, market wrap up Bitcoin steady near $54,000 RSI indicator warns of limited uptrend. Yeah. And so we are seeing a little bit of resistance right now. Uh, we'll have to look at some of our charts and see what we might be expecting here in the near term future. And folks, if that sounds interesting, go ahead and stick around and let's cue that intro. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way y'all can stay updated every single video that we make on this channel each and every single day going over the Bitcoin markets and charts and cryptocurrency markets too as well. So we got our market wrap up for this week. Uh, RSI is indicating that a limited uptrend is happening right now. So let's see what's going on in this article here. Uh, Bitcoin trading at about $53,800, climbing 3.22% over the previous 24 hours. Bitcoin's 24 hour range of 51,000 to 54,000. Uh, BTC trades above its 10 hour and 50 hour averages on the hourly chart, a bullish signal for market uh, technicians. What a dud. Friday's record 6 billion expiry of the Bitcoin options market turned to be a non-event as prices for the largest cryptocurrency climbed steadily with uh, nary a glimpse of feared plunge to the max pain point of $44,000 for Bitcoin bulls. The absence of action brought a measure of relief with the prices ticking up to 4.8% on the day to about 53,800, allowing the two year old digital asset to reclaim its losses from the past couple of days. With March coming to an end, one uh, analyst said Bitcoin could or Bitcoin should get a nice tailwind as hedge funds rebalance the quarterly reports or to manage the risks. Both Bitcoin and S&P 500 has reached new all-time highs every month since December. Uh, head of research, okay. Such upward momentum could be limited. A widely tracked technical indicator, the monthly relative or RSI, is uh, signaling Bitcoin near an extreme overbought level. Um, and yeah, this is uh, some of their charts here, I guess, uh, indicating some overbought levels in Bitcoin. And uh, I'm not too sure what the RSI upper band at about 85 extreme. Uh, and this looks like we're looking at the monthly chart here for uh, this article in this chart. Uh, but you can see here that the it does look like we are approaching into some overbought levels with this RSI uh, upper band here for this chart. So very interesting uh, to take a look at here. Um, but doesn't mean that Bitcoin can't continue to rise here. You can see that uh, during our last uh, bull market cycle here too as well, we've steadily started to uh, ride this upper band, uh, you know, to further and further highs too as well so um, bitcoin could still be doing that too as well um, so it does look like we we are entering an overbought area but at the same time uh, it does look like that we could probably still ride this upper band uh, red line here continuing to go further higher too as well in the near term future the rsi reading on a monthly chart is trading in extremely elevated levels cryptocurrency strategist lamax digital told coindesk it suggests the market should see a limited upside for now with risk of correction and consolidation either up market debates uniswap's latest update okay interesting and then we just go on to some altcoin article or altcoin news there too as well um, but yeah we'll take a look at our charts here in a second let's go ahead and jump on into our next article here we have limited bitcoin supply we'll push price to incredible numbers says arc investor kathy woods let's see what kathy woods has to say here Ark Investor CEO Kathy Wood believes Bitcoin is set to surge, propelled by its finite supply and growing demand. In a new video, Wood remarks that Bitcoin's current market cap is around $1 trillion, uh, is a small relative to its potential future valuation. If we add all the potential demand relative to the limited supply, we come up with incredible numbers over the long term. We have just begun. $1 trillion is nothing compared to where this ultimately will be. The ARK Investor CEO points out that various established companies are adding Bitcoin to their balance sheets as evidence of increasing demand. I think the most surprising development recently, and we didn't expect it when we wrote, when we wrote our institutional report, is that companies are now diversifying their cash into Bitcoin. 
Uh, we've seen Square do this, Tesla do this. MicroStrategies is defying its business around it now. Wood asserts that Bitcoin is the first new asset class in about half a millennium and that its low correlation to other asset makes it attractive to investors. The correlation of returns to other asset classes is extremely low. In fact, according to our analysts, the highest correlation is to real estate, 0.34. And so it's every it's what every asset allocator seeks, you know, non-correlation assets. We do believe this is the first new asset class truly new asset class since uh 1600s uh since equities and um yeah it just kind of goes against the wave of like everything else basically and so it's uh, bitcoin kind of goes against uh, all other traditional markets too as well right and uh we know that kind of breaks off it's broken off from gold um it's broken off from uh the, the s&p too as well it, well the s&p has been on a rise too lately but um i think that that will be like one of the major catalysts uh is uh, if the S&P does crash and we see a stock market crash and if Bitcoin continues to rise, um, that's going to be uh, another big correlation to say that, hey, crypto is the dominant asset class. <clears throat> After a conducting of uh, Monte Carlo uh, simulation, a model used to estimate various possible outcomes of certain events would discover that institutions should allocate a significant percentage of their portfolio to BTC. Um, the ARK Investor CEO invests seeking to minimize volatility to maximize their sharp ratio a measure of excess return obtainable from exposure to a riskier asset and to attend volatility should consider BTC. We've done a study, it's on our website, ARK Invest, about institutional participation in this thing. I think we did a, a million Monte Carlo simulations. I'm not too sure what the Monte Carlo simulation is, uh, but maybe we can jump into that here in a little bit. We could probably watch this video too. We'll see how long it is. If institutions use this kind of analysis where they maybe want to minimize the volatility or on other extreme uh, maximize their sharp ratio, they probably should be putting something between 2.5 to 6.5% in Bitcoin in their portfolios. Uh, let's just see how long this We're video is. It's about a 16 minute video. I think it's a little long for today's um, vi uh, video that we're gonna upload. But, um, you know, obviously we can take a look and maybe do some more research on the Monte Carlo uh, simulation. I'm kind of curious to see what that is exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously Bitcoin is ready to prove itself to other investors too as well that it, it's going to be um, not only just Bitcoin, but uh, cryptocurrency in general is just going to be the dominant asset class. Uh, it's going to be the new stock market, you know, it's basically just the new type of stock market that's going to be implemented. So by all means, make sure you're learning and make sure you're studying. Uh, we're studying pretty much every single day on this channel, too, as well. And if y'all want to stay up to date with us, don't forget, join us in our private trading group um, and learn about some of our altcoins that we're getting into, how we're staking them, and then also how we're getting in and out of this market, setting up trades for you too as well. And uh, let's go ahead and jump on over into our charts and see what's going on over there. So speaking of Bitcoin right now, we're seeing Bitcoin at, on its daily chart here. Rain, it's uh, right now sitting over at the $55,000 area, trying to break through 56,000. What we're looking at on the daily here, we did just take a look at the daily yesterday. Um, we're starting to break up back up above the 21 EMA here. So you can see Bitcoin starting to close back up above the 21 EMA, possibly getting ready to test this upper trend line here. We are on our two count with the, our extensions and we're seeing a, um, a three on the bottom of our extension uh, TI sequential count too as well. So our current TI sequential count is at a two on the daily, um, seeing an extended three on the uh, bottom here uh, definitely leads a bullish taste in my mouth too, for sure. Um, I do believe that we'll probably come back up to retest this trend line um, going on into the rest of this week. And then we'll see uh, Bitcoin wanting to make a move possibly past uh, $58,000 or so. Uh, but once we break this resistance trend line above head, we're definitely going to probably be anticipating a nice move there. Market Cypher B also giving us a green dot down here too as well on our daily chart. Uh, you know, our BWAP is still headed to the upside and money flow is still looking relatively good too as well. Uh, momentum wave, uh, we want to see a break above our zero pivot point here and then probably get a nice little rally here uh, to the upside. But I would remain a little cautious here. I'm not too sure if we're going to get our momentum wave to push us back up above our 50 
55% level if we already get our momentum wave to push us back up above this previous all-time red dot here, um, then that's going to uh, obviously mean a, a relatively bu bullish move for us. But we'll have to wait to see if Bitcoin is going to have that momentum behind it to get us uh, up to those, some of those levels. But we're probably looking for a nice push up above maybe um, 58000 to $60,000 and then see what we can do from there. If we kind of zoom in just a little bit more here, um, I'm still looking like some more, still looks like some more consolidation out to the side as of right now. Um, I would say looking at our five or six hour, six hour possibly giving us a, a red dot here in the near term future too as well. So I'm thinking some consolidation out to the side for a little bit longer and then possibly going on into maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to probably get a push above um, and retest maybe this uh, resistance trend line possibly at the $58,000 level and then see what we can do from there. Let's see if we've gotten any recovery time frames here, um, such as on our two hour um, and possibly maybe even our 90 minute time frame. Uh, coming back into that green money flow here on the 90 minute too as well. It looks like the 90 minutes probably about ready to bounce to be wops headed to the upside on market cipher B as well. Uh, oops. So if we uh, take a look here, BWAP looks like it's ready to kind of clip back to the upside. So I have to keep a close eye on these lower time frames. Obviously, our higher time frames are still looking relatively good. Zooming out here back on the daily, let's take a look at the two day, just see what's happening here. We found the bounce off of the 21 EMA on our uh, two day chart too as well. And so, uh, yeah, it looked like we are getting our first sign of our green Heikinashi candles there too as well, uh, which would lead us to a bullish uptrend. And then also down here on market side for B, it looks like we're getting ready for a green dot to occur here on our two day chart. So things are looking pretty good, folks. I do think that we'll have a little bit more consolidation out to the side and then possibly going on into Tuesday or Wednesday of the following week will or this upcoming week will definitely see a nice move for Bitcoin. So get get ready for a bullish week ahead. I do think that we're going to come back up to retest that fifty eight thousand dollar level and then see if we can break through that and then possibly break up above sixty thousand dollars in folks. Uh, this uh, going on into the rest of March, maybe on into April, I do think that Bitcoin is probably going to uh, push back up above that $60,000 $60, to make a new all-time high um, follow in the following month. So keep a close eye on this. Uh, we're going to keep our, our eyes peeled on the chart, making videos each and every single day. And folks, if y'all want to learn about some of our altcoins that we're getting into that a lot of people, a lot of people are overlooking too as well, then join us in our private trading group. And also uh, we post trade setups on there too as well. Um, if you want to pay with debit or credit card, join us through the Patreon link. If you want to pay with crypto, message me on Discord. I'll get you set up. But everything that we post for our private members is located on our private uh, category in our Discord server. So once you get assigned a role through Patreon, um, you need to make sure that you have a Discord username. And uh, you, then you'll be able to see all of our private posts. Um, so with that being said, folks, I want to thank you all for coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay updated uh, with us each and every single day as the markets continue to move in the cryptocurrency space. And uh, with that being said, CTO signing out. Peace.